Good evening and welcome to PSVR News on this evening's edition. Perp Games Showcase reveals new titles coming to PSVR 2. XOR Games revealed that Zombieland Headshot Fever is also coming to PSVR 2. And we'll have something a little different from Jordan B. Peterson. IGN teamed up with Perp Games for a special VR showcase, which focused on PSVR 2. The event was hosted by Brian Paul of PSVR Without Parole and featured some new announcements for PSVR 2 as well as some updates on previously announced titles. Madison VR was shown off first. This game has gained the honour of being the scientifically most scary game in the world, and that's the flat version, so imagine how much worse, or should I say better, that will be in virtual reality. No release days was given, however. This game has a creature called Blue Knees in us, which I also think is pretty funny. Next up was cell shaded bullet hell shooter Desperate Vladivostok. This one also has no release date yet. After that was Afterlife VR, another horror game where you're exploring a mental hospital in search of your sister. This one looks like it has lower production values than Madison, but as I always say, a horror game in virtual reality is a horror game in virtual reality. Even with poor visuals, it still has the potential to terrify. This one also lacks a release date, just coming soon. Next up, we got a look at Ghosts of Tabor, but we already knew it was coming in quarter three of 2023, so there wasn't really much new information there. Still, this one is high on my list of anticipated titles. After that then was some anime stuff, which I simply refuse to try and pronounce. Those of you who are already on the FBI watch lists out there will probably enjoy this one though, when it releases on launch day. Next was Synth Riders Remastered. Coming launch day, the rhythm game will take advantage of the new hardware, adding multiplayer support, SSD utilization for quick load times, and more. Next up, they talked a bit about Song in the Smoke, Star Wars, Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, and Cave Digger 2, all out at launch. And in the case of Cave Digger 2, it will be the first PSVR 2 game to use eye tracking for the avatars so that players can see where each person is looking in co-op. The final game shown was a VR skater, a skateboarding game where you pull off tricks using gestures on the Sense controllers. VR Skater has no release date yet. XOR Games have revealed that Zombieland Headshot Fever Reloaded will be making its way to PSVR 2. The game, which was originally released on Quest, is getting some overhaul work done, taking advantage of the PSVR 2 hardware features and adding in some extra content. You won't have long to wait to try it yourself if you want, as it will be there at launch for the PSVR 2. And finally tonight, we head over to Jordan B. Peterson for our new segment, where viewers can send in their images or videos for Jordan B. Peterson to comment on. Jordan, I believe you've got a humorous one for us today. Is that right, Jordan? Well, you're bloody right it's humorous. It's the founder of Facebook and Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, throwing spears. But if you look closely, you'll notice he's wearing ear protection while doing so. <laughs> It's ridiculous. This is the man leading the charge over on those meta quests. Back to you in studio. If you'd like to submit something for Jordan to comment on in the next PS Viewer News, you can do so by going into the description, clicking on the Discord link, and joining the Discord from there. Support PS Viewer News by liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, all that usual shite, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, please stay moist.